So after three decades, it was the final bell for The Undertaker at WWE Survivor Series. Now, The Undertaker gave his final farewell and it was a big night for his career. And there were no live fans present in the Thunderdome, but there was likely a lot going through his head before he took that last walk to the ring. 30 years of consistency, what beats that? Nothing, Udoka, nothing. I mean, 30 years of excellence and simply one of the best professional wrestlers that the industry has ever seen. Um, starting from his debut in the late 1990s and straight through all the eras of the um, World Wrestling Federation up to um, World Wrestling Entertainment and what it is today, I believe he is the epitome of uh, professional wrestling and entertainment. So he has been fantastic. And then talking about his WrestleMania streak, which lasted for about 20 plus years, in my own opinion, I, I wish it wasn't broken. And even if it was going to be broken, I wish it was broken by someone from the younger generation. But you know what? That's down to the script writers. Yeah. But then he's someone who obviously has a great understanding with his colleagues and obviously a great relationship with um, Vince McMahon. That's a major reason why his career was blossoming and uh -huh. would forever be remembered. So many great um, matches. I mean... I love the the partnership between him and his brother Kane, the yeah. Brothers of Destruction. It was fantastic. Um, he had great matches against Shawn Michaels, Stone Cold Steve Austin, uh -huh. Brock Lesnar, Triple H. A lot of great encounters, and obviously we all loved um, his first entrance with Paul Bearer. Uh -huh. The whole era where he was um, deemed to be, you know, someone who takes souls uh -huh. and always um, makes sure that all his opponents rest in peace. Look, he'll forever be remembered as one of the greats. Uh -huh. True. And uh, of course, I, I think I enjoyed uh, The Undertaker when he first came to the scene, when he made his debut and uh, on the wrestling um, ring. And I felt like over time, I lost that um, interest in watching him because he, he became too modernized. He became too new school for my liking. I like that old school Undertaker. But yes, we, we agree that he has to change with the trend because uh, the areas are quite different from the depth three decades, so I mean, uh, he, he's supposed to change with the tide, but I, I enjoyed more of the um, first decade of The Undertaker. Funny enough, for me, I think I prefer the second decade, mm. you know, the bad man Undertaker, riding into the ring with his American chopper cycle, yeah. and then with the chains, and then he was more vocal, you know, compared to the other two eras, so I enjoyed that a lot, mm. and I loved the fact that that was when he was at his best in terms of his physical shape, yeah. and he was simply, simply untouchable, one of the best and was always able to create um, great rivalries, especially with The Rock. And then he was someone who always knew how to bring up the young ones um, into the industry. He always gave them a good ride into the industry. Mm. He did brilliantly for Randy Orton's career. He was a major reason why Randy Orton was considered as one of the best third generation wrestlers. Mm. And currently today, Randy Orton is a 16 time world champion. Um, I take a look at what he did for the likes of Jeff Hardy, uh, currently AJ Styles as well so that's someone who understands how important it is to pave the way for the young people and mm. he did that brilliantly so mm. kudos to the undertaker